Hello and welcome to Steam Wipe My Bank Account. My name is Ruby Ace and in this show I will feature games that I bought during the Steam Summer Sale. I will show you why I bought the games, if for any reason, what I think about them and should you consider buying them yourself now or maybe later when it gets on sale again. I have approximately 12 games to show you and I will make an episode at least once a week. I'm going to start this series with Tropical 4. The reason I bought this was that I actually had played it a bit back when it was free to play for one weekend over Steam. I liked the game but I wasn't 100% sure if I would keep on playing it later. Now since I got another chance at it for lower price I decided to give it a shot and bought it. So for those who don't know what is it about it is a city builder game heavily inspired by Cuba. Officially it's not Cuba, but it has multiple references and similarities to the country. The game includes a story mode where you have missions to complete which are there to make your tropical more wealthy and of course make your personal switch bank account more stuffed with cash. The missions vary from prison leaders Prisoning leaders of some political party to export importing tobacco to USA. The game is influenced by different political parties and countries. The countries are USA, USSR, China, Middle East countries and Europe. With different actions you either increase or decrease your reputation with these countries and parties which may hurt or benefit you later in the game. For most parts, it is easy to know what happens from each faction for each faction when you do different kind of actions. For example, supporting China on China versus EU debate might give you plus 30 reputation with China and decrease your reputation with Europe for 15. Apart from political part of the game, Tropical differs from other city builders with its edicts. You can basically screw your citizens over badly by tapping their po phones and limiting freedom, or you can be the nice guy and give them free food and housing if you may. It all depends on your desires. Same goes with politics. If you want to be friends with, let's say, USSR only and ignore everyone else, you can do it. It might cause some serious problems later on for your country, but tough luck. The basics of the game is quite easy to learn in my opinion. It doesn't have too complex menus or, or interface and so on. When I compare it to the other city builders I have, Cities Excel 2011 for example, Tropico is a lot easier to manage and faster to learn. Also, you can pick it up faster after having a longer break from playing the game, whereas in Cities Excel I have some problems remembering how I could do certain things. Of course, there are random events happening in your Tropico. I think that is common with city builders. The game does not take itself too seriously, it has some funny jokes in it. It is a bit more laid back city builder with quite nice background as a country in the Caribbean which is not Cuba even though it sounds like Cuba and is treated like it. For me this was quite easy process to do. I enjoyed the game the first time and I still do. I would recommend picking this up if you want to have a little bit different city builder game with more laid back attitude. Thank you for watching my video. Please leave a comment below and dislike the uh, or like the video. Also remember to subscribe to my channel to receive notice when I release new videos. My name is Ruby Ace and this is my new mini series Steve by my bank account. Thank you for watching and goodbye.